Hey guys, Anthony, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about what it truly takes to become a consistently profitable trader, all the sacrifices that are required, the step-by-step -step process of what people actually go through, the emotional turmoil, the ups, the downs, the high highs, the very low lows. Uh, we're going to break it all down in this video just to make us all understand what it, what it takes and then if we're willing to put in that work, that time, that sacrifice and go through those ups and downs. If you're new here, I trade futures, ES and NASDAQ mainly, and I've been trading for just over three years now, almost four years. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Again, it's lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned. It's so much pain, but over time it became more consistent, and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So let's talk about it. What it really takes to become a consistently profitable trader is 10 to 12 hours a day, every single day on the charts, getting that chart time in. And the chart time is non-negotiable. There's no way around it. There's no single strategy that we're just gonna learn you know, from someone who's already trading well. Uh, we ourselves need that chart time. And what I mean by the chart time is going through, you know, let's say you're back testing or just going through and doing live trading, let, letting the, the candles unfold in front of your eyes and seeing it all happen on multiple time frames, just seeing the price action unfold in front of your eyes uh, on multiple time frames, live over and over and over again, uh, eight to 12 hours a day for a year or two, you know, a good like 600, 700 days of eight to 10 hours a day on the charts, looking at the candles unfold, looking at the price action and getting the feel for the market. And it's so underrated, like a lot of people don't talk about it, but it's, it's truly the thing that makes uh, any trader profitable at the end of the day, it's enough chart time. And the reason is because you start to develop the pattern recognition, you start to develop what's likely to happen because you've seen it unfold so many times, time and time and time again. And while you're doing that, you're just taking stabs at some random strategies, you're trying this strategy, you're trying that strategy, and you're, you're putting it to work in the markets. But since you're getting so many hours of watching the chart unfold in front of your eyes, you know, seeing, let's say, you know, your stop loss get hit so many times or just taking so many losses. And the pain is what's going to go hand in hand with this. So, you know, you're going to lose lots of money, right? The only reason you're not going to lose lots of money is if you paper trade for a long time or use prop firms only. And even if you do use prop firms only, you could lose like, you know, five to $10,000, but it's a lot better than losing, you know, $100,000 if you have that money to begin with. So expect to lose a lot of money for the first couple of years. And if you, as long as you have that expectation and you know, you have, you go through your last dollar, like just use small, small accounts until you're able to be profitable for three months in a row. And then you could possibly increase the amount of money you trade with. But you really have to understand that if you're in your first two years, you are, it's very likely that you're going to go through this, some major downturn and swing that's going to cause you to lose a huge amount of money if that's in your account. So you don't really want to play with a huge account size for those first two years at least. You just want to stick with very small accounts, try to build them up, and you know if you're able to be profitable after three months in a row, then you could increase the account size, but you don't want to go from like 1,000 to 100,000, right? If you have a if you have a thousand dollar account and you're profitable for three months, sure, put another thousand in, put another 2,000 in, right? Bring it to a few thousand, then trade that. See how you do with the larger size. Because with the larger size, it's gonna come new emotions and new demons. But the whole point is, we have to first be willing to put in those eight to 10 hours every single day. I'm talking seven days a week. This is what I did. I literally, every waking hour, from waking up to sleeping, take a, a one hour, hour and a half break to work out, and then it's just charts. Literally just charts, workout, charts, workout, charts, workout. And then if you have a job and you're unable to do uh, you know 12 hours of charts, well, then it's just expect to take twice as long or get those 16 hours in on the weekends, right? You know, 16 hours in on Saturday, 16 hours in on Sunday, and then you can get, you know, four hours a day, let's say, throughout the week. You know, after two, three years, you could also get there yourself. But it really takes an insane amount of hours. A lot of people don't talk about this. It is a ridiculous amount of hours that you have to be able to put in. You have to really love the charts. You have to actually genuinely be passionate about the charts. Like I wake up every single day excited to back test. Can't wait to get on the charts. I'm glued to the charts. Even after being profitable, all I, I just love looking at the charts. And if you don't love looking at the charts, then as soon as you go, you know, four, five, six months of losing money and you're like, oh, I have to back test again, I have to back test again. There's no way you're gonna continue. And it's just because the pain is so strong. Like you were going to have some serious emotional damage and pain from losing time and time and time after again. And after you do lose so many times, 
you can only stay with it, I believe, if you love the process, if you actually love you know, finding these strategies or backtesting data or just gathering data. If you love this then you and you know the potential, you combine the love with knowing the potential to keep you on track no matter how big of a drawdown you have, no matter how much of a catastrophe happens, you know, how, no matter how much money you lose, you're going to stick with it because number one, you see the potential, you know it's possible, right? We all know it's possible to make whatever amount of money you want, 100,000 a month, 200,000 a month, you name it, it's possible, right? The only question is, are you going to be able to do it? And you can find that answer by, if you are extremely passionate about the process, and you are disciplined. If you combine the discipline with being extremely passionate about the process, then no matter what, it doesn't matter what happens. At the end of the day, you will get there. It's just the only question is, is it gonna be two years? Is it gonna be four years? Or is it gonna be six years before you get to that level? That's the only question because it's you're going to get there as long as you still have that unwavering passion and you have that belief in yourself combined with the discipline. Because again, if you, let's say after like years, you start to think, you know, maybe it's not, I'm not cut out for it. And you start to lose a belief in yourself. That is a slippery slope. So you better have someone in your corner to lift you up or otherwise you're going to fall down very low and you are going to completely give up and be extremely depressed. This trading is, is an industry that, you know, a lot of people make seem look very easy. It's not easy whatsoever. It's, it's the most psychologically challenging field. I know it's a bold statement, but there's lots of physical jobs that are way harder than trader trading, obviously, but you have to be able to shut off your brain and emotions to be unemotional about drawdown, unemotional when you're up, unemotional when you're down. Because if you are if you are excited when you're up money, then you are going to be extremely devastated when you're down. And you know, when you're when you're unemotional when you're down, that means by default you will be unemotional when you're up. So it's a field that you have to be highly unemotional. And you have to really be detached from the entire result, right? Every time you place a trade, you have to know like, if I lose, I don't care. If I win, I don't care. That's You have to be able to get to that level. That's hard if you don't have a lot of money starting out. Very hard because it's like, well, you do care if you lose the money because you don't have a lot of money. And you do care if you make the money because, again, you don't have a lot of money. It's easier to say that when you have the money, right? So this is a whole process of, of a new way you have, you have to train yourself. And that's also a whole other factor of that takes a long time. Like that's not why it takes years because we're programmed for the opposite. So it's, you have to, you're basically going against your own human psychology to become a consistently profitable trader. And when I say consistently, I mean like seriously consistently because you can have a great six months and give it back because you slipped up for, you know, two trades and you can get back all six months, right? You can have a great year and then uh, the next year you could give back that year, right? But, you know, to, but to be able to go year after year, uh, of profitability it's it's a whole other beast after saying all of that it is far worth it there is nothing more worth it than being able to have time free freedom location freedom and financial freedom those are the three most important freedoms right and then you have your health of course which is most important but those are the three freedoms if you have those three freedoms you know name another career that can give you all three there's there's very little there is not many and uh, trading has unlimited scalability to beat out a lot of those other careers because try to name another career that you could you could make like ten thousand dollars in in 15 minutes or a hundred thousand dollars in a day right trading offers that scalability with no extra stress on you other than the emotional stress of holding that kind of size so just know it's worth it at the end of the day because once you do make it and i know you will you're going to thank yourself. You're going to look back and say, wow, I'm so glad I stuck with it. So keep at it, keep studying, keep back testing, and you're going to be well on your way to becoming a consistently profitable trader. Hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next video.